All right, so from here on, the ride to the swap shop isn't too bad unless this guy right here tries to hit me. Oh, he's gonna make a U-turn. Oh, it's gonna be close. Oh, he's a good driver. Sometimes they get really close if they make a U-turn. But you know, that guy was just a good driver. I appreciate that guy right there. There's not a lot of good drivers out here anymore. But yeah, this is just like a straight shot to the swap shop once I get to this bike lane. All right, guys, as you can see from my awesome hairdo, I am now at the swap shop. We're locking up the electric booty. As I said before, I lock it up through the frame, through the front wheel. The back wheel is pretty hard to take off. So today is Sunday and it's 6.45. I left my house probably at six o'clock, maybe like 6.10. I got here in about 30 to 40 minutes, but hopefully find some good stuff. I brought exactly how much I brought on Thursday. I brought 100 and about $166. I don't know how I ended up bringing exactly the same amount and hopefully find some good stuff today. How much did you want for these? 35. I mean, honestly, if those were like 20 or 15, I probably would have picked them up because I know that people still buy like fake Yeezys, but I felt like they were pr pretty decent. I could see someone paying like 50 or $60 just to feel good about themselves to get some turtle doves. I think that's what those ones are called. Got a pair of Spider-Man foam posits for 20. I'm gonna try to talk them down to 15. I think he's told me like around 15. I'll show him this one flaw over here, hopefully. He'll give it to me for 15. Looks like it's missing some rubber. All right, also got these do the right thing ones, and they look pretty clean. Just gotta clean them up a little bit. Size 12 probably as well. There's also a couple shoes over there. These ones are 15, and then I got these for 15 as well. I'll have to look some of these up, because I don't know anything about, like, especially this pair. I thought it was like a pair of threes, and I was like, oh, it's a pair of fours. And then I was like, no, it's not either or. <laughs> it looks so weird. And those ASICs look pretty dope too. Sure you can't do any better? Like 17? No, 20. 20 is the firm? Yeah. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll give you 20 for him. I'll be fair. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Can I get a bag, please? Yeah. Get a good amount of stars. Size eight. Thank you. All right. Sometimes I really don't understand this place. Lady has like five pairs of really crappy ASICs and New Balances. And she has just a random pair of Fear 4s that are worth like $200. I would say 160 to be fair, but I'm probably gonna ask around 180 to 200. Good size too, size eight, such a steal, 20 bucks. Crazy score. All right, so just like Thursday, we're off to a good start, honestly. Can't complain, making good money at the swap. Grab some baby, oh man, I'm gonna get these wrong. True Blues, True Blue 3s for $5, almost at $3. He said 10 at first and then Right when I was about to offer like seven, went down and then this price to five. Very good condition. Just need to clean up the laces, honestly. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Five? Yep. Perfect. Yes. That wasn't too bad of a deal. I believe they're called infrared tens and they were $15. A little bit of drag, they're size 13. I just gotta clean them up, scrub them a little bit. They're hard to clean because they're suede. But for 15 bucks, I figure I'd get about 50 to 60 for him. Nothing crazy. Some Ultra Boosts for 20 bucks. You take 15? 15, yeah? All right. Got some Ultra Boosts for $15. Uh, I just got to clean them up. They're pretty yellowed. $15, probably selling them for like 60 or 80. So I'm at the same booth that I got the uh, Jordans from in the beginning. The uh, Do the Right Thing ones and the Foam Posits and he has two for three dollar clothes as long as I buy a, a bunch. That's a pretty cool Jordan shirt. It's all Jordan shirts for now. Pretty yellowed on the bottom. Always look for those three dots on the back. Just asking 25. A little bit of yellowing right there. Could you do 20? I'll take them right now. Yeah, yeah, just, it was just because of the yellowing on the bottom. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and it happens though. These are pretty cool. <laughs> These are cool, yeah. All right, guys, got a full bag. Literally so many shoes and clothes today. Shout out to the homie, Joseph. We were just getting, or he was getting something for a, a relative. Uh, for my nephew. For his nephew, and it was $5. We tried to talk her down, she wouldn't budge. And he scans them, like scan it to make sure it's not cheaper on eBay. And it goes for like 50 to $60. Oh yeah, shout out to Joey though, because he's gonna be putting all of my stuff in his car. We live pretty close to each other. Cause this thing weighs 
honestly, probably like 15, 20 pounds. And just carrying that home on the bike is just so much. Big shout out to the homie. All right, so shout out again to the homie Joey for taking all my stuff home. I was able to grab these for $9. I don't know the exact name of them. I just looked them up. I think they're going for like 60, 80 bucks. So I figured I'd take a gamble. They just need to be clean. They are pretty worn, like drag on the bottoms. But for $9, even $9 in the 35, will be a good flip. Just grab this really dirty pair of, it doesn't really look too dirty until you see like that on the side. What are these called? Bread 13s. Pretty dirty on the bottoms, but for $5, I usually get about 30 bucks for these. Easy sale. I like buying baby shoes. They sell really easily. Mr. Brown? Mr. Brown. $50 each. Hey, box. All right, almost had a chance to buy all those uh, shoes. Gonna get four pairs, both pairs of foam posits, the pair of 13s, I think they're black hat 13s. And then there was a pair of powder threes. He wanted $50 a piece and then some of the foams he wanted 70 each, like the silver foams. So I had to pass, it was just too much for me. I offered $40 each and try not to offend him cause he's a really cool dude. 40 bucks a piece, I could have paid for those. It's kind of a cool find. We got like a vintage Made in USA JCPenney shirt for $2, brand new in the package. This one looks like it's striped. I'm not sure. Then there's a Hanes, and then it's like a burgundy color. Oh, look, it's right there, the date, 1997. I don't know if I should... Oh, would you do $2? Uh, th uh, two for $3? You said $2 each, right? Can you do two for three? Okay. Okay, thank you. Class of Champions, Holyfield versus Holmes. Pretty cool. It's got like a Caesars Palace hat for three dollars looks like it's barely worn i think i'm gonna grab it lots of stuff lots of stuff at the swap shop i think three dollars for this hat's pretty good maybe i'll offer him two you take two three three okay lots of boosts today though one's 18. what's the best you could do like 13. no 15 15 15. All right. Got some foam posits. They look good. No laces though. And some very clean infrared lows. Those look real too. Size 12 it looks like. Super icy actually. If they're like anywhere from 30 or lower then I'll get them but I doubt it. This lady's prices are usually a little bit above average. All right, well now I'm broke again. <laughs> I took out $60 from the ATM and I ended up grabbing those 11s for $40. And the only reason why, because they are clean. No yellowing at all on the bottoms. The sides, all pretty good. Just gotta use a little bit of Mr. Clean Magic Eraser to make it look beautiful. But I'm gonna charge about 140 for them probably. Paying $40 to make $80 profit, I'll take it. Ooh, man. So guys, I just wanted to go over the finds that I didn't get to show you guys and I guess I'll show you guys a little bit of sneak peek of what I found on Monday and Tuesday of thrifting. So I'm going to try to get this video edited and uploaded. It's now 4, almost 4.45 on a Tuesday afternoon. We have Daisy right here. She's always curious of what I'm doing. Got the cute little puppy. You got the cute little puppy. Mm -hmm. Okay, Daisy, I'm gonna film my video and you could just sit there and be cute, okay? I'm gonna show you guys a couple of things that were at the flea market that were hard to either display or show you guys. I think one of the coolest items actually, other than all the Jordans, all the Boost, all the Nikes that we got, I, I was outside with my dog barefoot and I burned the bottom of my feet so I had an ice pack on the floor and I was just like putting my feet there because I burned the bottom of them. I don't even know if you guys could tell, but it hurts like a mofo. This item was so dope. Like when I found this, I was just like, all right, let me grab this. I saw the date, 2002. So we got the Slipknot banner. This thing is so dope. It's actually pretty big. It'll be perfect for someone's wall. Anyone that's a huge Slipknot fan, I think I posted this on eBay for about $40 and there was none like it on eBay. And then right away I got an offer of $20. I countered it at 35. He declined it, but then I got two more watchers after that. So we'll see what the future holds with this 2002 Slipknot banner flag. I thought that was a really dope find. Yesterday, I picked up all of these games at the thrift store for a dollar each, and there's tons of classics in here. There are so many 
Crash Bandicoot's Ratchet and Clank, Star Wars Battlefront 2. I was actually surprised that Animal Crossing went down in value just because of how much like fun and how many hours you could put into these games. There's nothing I could do. Everyone wants the GameCube version. There's nothing I could do if people don't want to play the Wii version. Mwah. Got these New Balances today. These are the 587 models made in USA. They do have a little bit of stainage right here. But in general, like they're in great condition and they're only $8. So I paid $8 for these and I expect to get about 40 to 50 bucks. If you guys see really clean New Balances, make sure you guys look them up. The models usually range from about $40 up to like 60 to 80, but they do have a pretty cult following so they should sell pretty well. Next, I grabbed this really sick Native American Eagle shirt and it has a Native American on it with an American Eagle. And this was only $1, I was at this Goodwill that usually they charge $5 for t-shirts and I was like so surprised. I was expecting her to be like, all right, that's $5. And I was like already expecting the $5. So when she said $1 for this 2XL from 1997, I was like dope. That's definitely like a $25, $30 piece right there. Next, if you guys aren't into clothing and you guys want something that's like super simple and easy, this is definitely an easy item to buy. You have the Tinkerbell Disney Run Jersey and it's like a marathon running jersey. This was $5, and I expect to get anywhere from 35 to 50 bucks for it. They do very well, and I'm not saying just Tinkerbell ones do very well, but I've sold a Mickey Mouse one that I got from Vintage Orlando in a bulk buy box, and I was like, why did he send me this marathon shirt? And then I looked it up on eBay, and I was like, damn. That's awesome. And I actually sold that one for full price. I think I sold it for $45. So this one was five bucks. I expect to get 35 to 50 bucks for it. And it's in mint condition, size large. So you guys remember the video where I got all of the Jordan shirts, or I don't even know if I showed you guys any of them, but the guy charged me $12 for eight t-shirts. And they're all like size 2XL, 3XL. And one of them's over there because it's a double of this one. So I'll show you guys, I already got watchers on them. I posted them all on eBay already. We got basic Jordan tees, but listen, I only paid $1.50 for each one and I'm making good money on these. I'm gonna charge 20 bucks each. We got this one with a radar. This one's fresh kicks served daily. Pretty dope, size 2XL. And people will pay 15, 20 bucks for these t-shirts. This is the one that there's a double over there. It just needs to be washed. Deep three and it's got like some skeletons with some Jordan threes, but yeah. Really dope tees, and I only paid $1.50 each. There's eight of them. This one's a really weird long sleeve with a jump man on it, but obviously for $1.50, I'm not gonna pass up this type of deal. Next month, when I move into my new house in Margate, I will be uploading videos almost every day. I'm sorry that I've been kind of off on here, but I really gotta focus on my business and making money right now, and then I can focus on entertaining you guys, sharing knowledge with you guys in the resale community, and I hope you guys are just enjoying my videos because I really appreciate all of you guys so much. But I did sign up with Xfinity, and I paid for like the gigabyte of download speed, so the upload speed is like 30 megabytes per second. I think at my house currently, it's three. So if you guys could tell, these videos are gonna be way longer, way more dope, I hope you guys enjoy like the live uncut. And I know it's not like completely live because I'm not going live on YouTube, but I'm trying to show you guys, hey, I am buying these items for $5 and selling them for 50. I'm not trying to bullshit you guys. I try to tell you guys exactly what I pay for something, what you guys could expect to get, and sorry for teasing you. I'm not trying to tease you. I'm just trying to make my video, Daisy. I love you. We'll play, okay? You, you go down there and play, I'll be right there. All right. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Make sure you guys subscribe for genuine, live, uncut. All right, they're kind of caught up a little bit. But make sure you guys subscribe for some great reselling videos. Make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. Comment down below what you guys think was the best find of this video. I know there's a crazy amount of finds, crazy amount of shoes. Hope you guys have a nice day. Peace out, guys. Bye-bye. Erectile dysfunction is bad, but leaving a like on the video isn't. Whether you're hard or soft, make sure to slap that like button and subscribe while you're at it.